Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to talk about BitChute. Uh, BitChute is basically a social media uh, video website. Just like YouTube and Dailymotion and Vimeo, uh, just to mention a few. So, BitChute is, uh, is pretty recent. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the site was created, but it, it only became popular like late 2018s, early 2019. Okay, um, basically, uh, if you know YouTube, BitChute is pretty much the same way. Uh, content creators can upload videos. People can watch videos, like videos, comment on, on them. And um, content creators creators can also monetize their uh, their channels and, and videos and make money. Um, so um, for me personally, because um, I'm, in, I'm into internet marketing type stuff, um, I use BitChute because I subscribe to the mentality of be everywhere. Uh, you know, you don't have to have the most popular Facebook page or Twitter account. Just have a presence. It's, it's a start, you know. If you're there, you're there. Even if you're not very active, you know, uh, you can still catch the low-hanging fruit, if you will. So that's why I have, uh, that's one of the reasons I'm on BitChute because it's a nice place to also upload your videos because, you know, at the end of the day, there's not a lot of video platforms out there that, that you would want to use. So you have YouTube, which is like, you know, the god, and then you have Dailymotion, which is smaller, not that great of a website. Uh, you have Vimeo, which is super strict, they'll ban you for anything, because they want you to pay to, to, you know, to upgrade. And now you have BitChute, yeah, it's a good website, it's a nice website, works well, the design isn't, isn't, you know, flashy, it's not perfect, it's not great, it looks a little old, it looks a little outdated. But they're just getting started, you know, I'm sure they'll work, work those details out as time goes by. So, if you're making content, if you're making videos, you're uploading them to YouTube, Dailymotion, wherever, it would be a nice addition to also upload them to BitChute. And here's some of the reasons. One is the reach and the traffic you might get. So, you never know who's on BitChute. Who's gonna land on your video, watch it, maybe click the link that you put in the description, come to your website, buy something, whatever it may be, your affiliate links, whatever, you know. So you can always, you know, just by uploading your videos there and doing nothing else, you can always get some eyes on them, you can always get some click, get some traffic, okay. One, one other reason is uh, as a backup for your videos. Now, look, honestly, if you... Uh, if you make videos, you should always have them backed up on your computer. In fact, you should have them backed up on your computer and another backup on something like an external hard drive or cloud storage. Because, you know, it's hard work making videos. It takes a long time processing, creating, editing, you know, uh, and you don't want to lose them, right? And let's say you create them and you upload them to YouTube and that's all you do and you don't keep them on your computer or nothing. One day YouTube could suspend you, they can ban you, and they can remove your channel and remove all your videos, and then what are you going to do? You're going to be able to get them back? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if YouTube allows you to download your videos after you've been suspended, or if you can get them some other way, but in any case, the more the merrier, right? You upload them on YouTube, also take a minute, upload them on BitChute, you know, uh, keep, 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 uh, keep another backup out there which also has a potential to bring you some traffic and clicks. Um, okay, you can monetize your videos on BitChute, and I, I, I will say uh, they offer more monetization options than, than YouTube does. I'll talk about that later in the article. And also, uh, frankly, free speech and supporting the little guy. You know, we all like the underdog, like all the so many movies made about that. You know, uh, they are the underdog, they are the little guy coming in, fighting the was the word, the behemoth that is YouTube, you know, um, and, you know, a lot of people complain how, oh, Facebook, they, they, they have too much power, they have too much, uh, you know, too much money, blah, 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 well, their power comes from their user base, you want Facebook, you want YouTube to have less power, to not be such uh, extremely large monopolies, well, get on the competitors, get on Gab, get on BitChute, 
get on other smaller sites that are come, trying to come up. Because as long as you just stick to YouTube, you know, you can't complain, oh, YouTube's getting too big, you know. Um, and one of the reasons BitChute got its initial push was because YouTube basically, last year, I believe it was, uh, uh, beginnings of 2019, whatever, they went crazy. They just started suspending and banning everybody, and spe more specifically, the political right of YouTube, I guess. Um, you know, people who weren't doing anything illegal, weren't doing anything wrong, they just started suspending people because they had the wrong opinions. Not illegal, not anything, just the, just the opinions that YouTube doesn't agree with. And that, that's, that's not what the internet is all about. The internet is about freedom, you know? So YouTube lost a lot of support then, even from people that they didn't suspend. Um, so, you know, if you want to uh, support, and actually BitChute touts itself as a free speech, no censorship, censorship uh, type of platform. Now, of course, they're going to censor and delete illegal content, stuff like that. But they're not going to ban you just because they disagree with your opinion or the way you're expressing it, as long as you're civil, I guess. You know, so if you support free speech, internet freedom, and the underdog, check out BitChute. At the very least, you can use it to upload your videos. You know, get some traffic, maybe monetize them a little bit, and uh, and uh, which is what I do. Or you can just go full crazy and just w only watch pitch shoot and completely ignore YouTube. That's up to you. Uh, now, as far as monetization goes, they offer a number of options. Now, they're still a young sites, so they're still working things out. They're going to have advertising, but for now, advertising is currently disabled in your account. We are currently trailing the advertising functionality, <coughs> functionality <coughs> with a handful of creators. So they're trying it out. Eventually, they're going to work it out and they're going to you know, roll it out for everybody. Uh, creator monetization tab is just a, you, you can you can come here, you can click, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this vi uh, video and there's going to be a link to this article here that you can see on the screen. You can come here, click this link here, BitChute monetization policy and just read what it says on the page. It's not just some information about monetization and about um, advertising on BitChute, stuff like that. And then we have the tips and, and pledges uh Part. Now this is pretty cool. People can basically tip you, your viewers. You know. Um, now you're probably not gonna get this if you're just making whatever videos. But if you get some, if you have some uh, lo loyal viewership who might want to support you, you know, for the content you're making, you can monetize in a number of ways. They offer four different ways: subscribe star, coin payments, Patreon, and PayPal. Now, at first, when I saw this, uh, I thought about doing PayPal, but then it says you, you, you will require a PayPal premier or business account in good standing to use this feature successfully. Uh, PayPal is a piece of shit. There's no good standing with them. They'll just ban you and ruin your business overnight. But that's a different story. Uh, I decided to go with coin payments. Uh, that's for cryptocurrencies, you know, Bitcoin, Ether, Monero, Litecoin, whatever. You, you deserve like pretty much all of them available and you can choose which ones you want to accept and which ones you don't. Uh, and I already have a coin payments uh, account and I receive payments on occasion from customers. So I figured, you know, I'll add it. Why not? I mean, if you're watching this video, you might be watching it on BitChute. Maybe you want to thank me for making it for you and tip me, you know, and I'll be happy to accept. In any case, they offer a number of options, as you can see here, and um, you can choose which one you want to use, which is much more than YouTube. The only uh, monetization option YouTube offers is YouTube uh, advertising, like the ads that they show on your videos using AdSense, which is another Google product. YouTube is also belongs to Google, so they they, they keep everything in house, right? And of course, you know, you, in, on YouTube you can also advertise like in the videos, in your videos you can promote stuff. Uh, and you can put links in the descriptions of your videos, but there's no tipping as far as I'm aware I don't think there is uh, Well on on BitChute you have it and when they roll out their advertising, it's gonna be even better um, Now of course BitChute doesn't have the traffic not even close to the traffic that YouTube does but you know It's a good start. We all, we all started somewhere, right? Um, a few other things here uh, when you upload a video on BitChute 
uh, you know, it takes a little while for the upload to complete, but when it completes, they're going to send you an email, something like this. Your video is ready on, ready on BitChute, the video link, blah, blah, blah. If any of your videos get a comment, you're going to get an email like this. <clears throat> you know, this email is to notify you and your comment has been made on blah, blah, blah. And after you've been a member of BitChute for one year, you're going to get an email such as this. You know, this email is to notify you that the following alert has been raised by BitChute achievements, and you get like you get like a little, um, uh, like a little star type thing in your account. I don't think it, it it doesn't actually mean anything that you've been a member for one year, but like aged accounts are always more valuable than new accounts online in terms of how what they can do and how you know safe they are. Um, like for example. The the you saw before that they're still tr working with some select members on the advertising aspect of BitChute, so to put ads on your videos. Now uh, they're probably working it out with old and established um, members, right? So I mean, my account is over one year old, and I don't have the time to be messing around with BitChute too much, but. If I was like big on the platform, I had a lot of subscribers, I had a lot of videos, I had a lot of views, you know, they're, 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 it's more likely than that, that they would come to me and offer me to be a part of the advertising test than to somebody who just created their account yesterday. So having an old account is always much better than a new one. So go and create your account today. <laughs> um, and uh, in conclusion, basically, I, I like that this site appeared, uh, but frankly, the more the merrier, because, I mean, on the one hand, you, must, you, you can say, yeah, the more the merrier, but then you end up spreading yourself too thin. I mean, how are you gonna, how are you gonna keep up, you know, posting on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and BitChute and Dailymotion and left and right and up and down and everywhere, you can't keep up. Yeah, well, you, you, that's true, but um, at the end of the day, I think it's much better to have more of them. You figure out, work it out, automation, auto posting, stuff like that. And um, because if you only have one big uh, platform that dominates any market, any industry, and then they decide to ban you, where do you go? What do you do? You're done. You know, if there was only PayPal, if there was no Pioneer, no TransferWise, no. Uh, perfect money, no cryptocurrency, if there was just PayPal and they just allow you to have the one account and then they ban you and they ban like crazy, what, what do you do? How do you how do you make money? How do you receive money? You're done. You know? The same with YouTube. If there's just YouTube and they ban you, they suspend you like they did to so many people, where do you go? What do you do? You're done. You, well, you're going to make your own website and host your own videos? Do you know how much... Um, um, bandwidth, whatever uh, space you're going to need to host a significant amount of vid videos and to have them play fast enough. And then you have to go and get traffic. You know, it, it just doesn't work. So the more the merrier, if you ask me, more Facebooks, more YouTubes, more alternatives, you know, so that everybody has a place to go and that nobody has too much power and too much control, right? Because it's not just that YouTube you know, it's too big and Facebook is too big, but these guys are like, what's the word, in cahoots, you know, they're, they're in it, like on a team, like, if, for anybody that knows, I'm rambling a little bit, but if you know about Alex Jones, um, when he got suspended, he didn't just get suspended on YouTube, he got suspended everywhere, because these guys are in agreement, and they work together, right, and that's not good, internet is about freedom, and in the case of Alex Jones, he was talking crazy, he's a crazy dude, but um, he didn't do anything illegal. He did not do anything illegal and he did not break any terms of service or any other bullshit, so they were wrong. And even if one platform decides to ban him, um, that's fine, but when all of them ban somebody together and you have no place to, else to go, that's very bad. That's not the, what the internet is all about. If five companies control 90% of the internet and they ban you, all of them, uh, you're done. No, that's not what the internet is all about. So I'm going to always support more uh, companies, more alternatives popping up for any website, in any industry, in any market. You know, take down the big guys and have some balance in the world. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out my article here, there's going to be a link in the description of the video. You can click. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.